All right, new project time. Can y'all guess what I'm fixing to do? I'm gonna give you a hint. All right, here's the first hint. Big one, big giant hint. <laughs> Here is the next hint. Okay. Now this is this is the one that's gonna give you give it away. The next hint. You ready? Ta-da! <clears throat> Check it out. I have got one, two, three, four cattle troughs. Yeah. And um, I'm going to make um, some sort of a patio. I've got all this stone and you really can't see it. And that's why I'm actually um, taking it off this hill because it's getting covered up and there is a ton of stone on the hill. So I'm going to make a small patio over here going to kind of center it on the den windows out here in the yard and then these will be like the walls and I'm going to fill them with probably flowers and vegetables so anyway that's my plan now let's see if I can execute it I'm excited yay Let's get started. All right, let's make a broccoli salad with all with all this fresh broccoli. You're gonna need um, two heads of fresh broccoli, one red onion, a half a pound of bacon cooked and then crumbled, three fourths cup raisins or craisins. I used craisins. Three fourths cup pecans or almonds. I used pecans one cup mayo, a half a cup sugar, and two tablespoons white wine vinegar. I don't put the vinegar in it, but you can if you want. And I don't put the bacon in it, but you can if you want. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna mix up your one cup mayo, your half a cup sugar, and your vinegar, and you're going to mix it all together. 
and then you're going to pour it over everything else stir it up and you have a delicious delicious salad i mean it is fantastic y'all will love this recipe it is so healthy for you and it is so good and i love putting craisins in it um i didn't have a purple onion so i just put a white onion but it is delicious so y'all give this recipe a try you will love it so long winter get ready for spring all right spring has sprung at Kita's house. Yes, it has. It is a rainy, gloomy, cold day, but inside it is spring. <laughs> oh, and I'm loving it. So I thought I would just give you a little tour of my kitchen and dining area. These right here are the chargers I got at the Dollar Tree. They're plastic. They look like wood. And they went so well with the little rabbit plates. I just love them. Those are old candlesticks. I think they were actually from Avon. They're very, very old. I got them from a good friend when I was helping her move. And I just think they are so pretty they were actually bottles and this part unscrews and there was stuff in there I don't know what it was but they're very old I have got my hutch done Oh, and these are my little egg holders. Of course, these aren't my real eggs, but they're to put boiled eggs in after you, when you cook them, then you put them in this and you can eat them out of that. Isn't that cute? Little egg holders. All right, and then we'll go over to the hutch. I got out our spring plates with the daffodils and the tulips. And yes, we really do use them. And I'm looking for something to put um, our silverware in. And these were in my boxes. So I'm just using them right now. But um, I want something really cool. But I, I'm going to have to find it at a flea market somewhere. This is a deviled egg tray. So she's all ready to go. have my teapots out, my spring teapots. More egg cups. So it's stuff, the stuff that is on there, a lot of it's decorative, a lot of it we use. So it's a combination of the two. I ended up putting the bunny over here on the bar. She looks really cute. And my husband came up with the idea to put flowers in her arms. Isn't that cute? It's like, good idea, babe. And then I have a spring arrangement in my window sill. It's the little bunny and the flowers. And my little teacups with flowers and eggs. Isn't that cute? And then I have wreaths around my cow. I love my cow. And my 
bunny. And this is always out, but it's very springy. It holds my soap and my sponge. There you have it. Hello, spring. Goodbye, winter.